Okay guys, in this video I'm going to take you through sigma bonds, why they arise and why they are important for bonding. If we compare the electron arrangement of carbon and the 3D structure of carbon, they don't quite match up. In our electron arrangement, we have space for an up and down electron, a down electron, and an up and a down electron. An up and down are different. Whereas over here, we have one, two, three, four identical spaces. But we don't have four identical spaces in our electron arrangement because we've got space for an up and we've got space for a down over here. So the carbon needs to find a way of making space for four identical electrons. So what happens is one of these electrons down here in the 2s orbital gets a little bit excited and turns into a 2p electron. And it becomes an sp3 electron. Now, do not think that there are just three of them. There are four of them. One from s and three from p. So one plus three making four in total. I know sometimes you think there's sp and there's sp, sp, sp. So three sps, but it's not. There's an s and three ps. These are now four identical spaces for our electrons to come and fill in with our nice down electrons, matching the four identical bonds that carbon makes. Looking at the orbitals that carbon has, we have our 2s and then our 2p orbitals. Two electrons in the 2s, an electron in the 2px, an electron in the 2py. When we excite an electron from the 2s up to the 2p, we get hybrid orbitals. We get an sp3 orbital. And there are four of these sp3 orbitals surrounding, in this case, each carbon. So instead of getting a sphere and two dumbbells surrounding each carbon, we have these four ideas identical hybridization orbitals, the sp3 orbitals, giving us four identical bonds around each carbon, which can then bond onto hydrogen or whatever else it wants to bond onto. Here in ethane, we can see that our two hybridization orbitals, one from each carbon, are coming together and merging in the middle. And these are all single bonds. Double bonds, we're going to be introducing pi bonds, they get a bit more complicated. <laughs> 